Hey everyone, this is Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be filming part three of my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter series. So instead of just dragging this on, I'm going to jump right in. The first palette is the M -M -M Mitchell Made, I'm sorry, the Made by Mitchell Head in the Clouds palette by M -M -M Mitchell or however M, how many M's he has in his name. This is what the palette looks like love the color story i love that it's all over the place i loved so many things about this palette the color story like i said is all over the place but this is totally me i'm i'm a gemini so we're airheaded so we tend to be all over the place all of the shades swatch beautifully except for midnight this one was a little patchy but purples are really hard to formulate and out of both palettes all of the shades this was the only one that swatched poorly so I can't even be upset at that because it's still really great quality um, overall I really love this palette don't care for the um the lettering the color of the lettering the names are absolutely horrible I can't stand the names either but the palette is nice the quality is really great and I do enjoy using this palette actually no I haven't even gotten a chance to use this palette so I'm looking forward to using this palette so with that being said, I will not be getting rid of this. Next is the Made by Mitchell Feet on the Ground eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. It's very neutral. It's very muted compared to the other one, which is just all over the place. This one does have a few pops of colors, like um, this yellow right here, this um, bright coral, this chartreuse, this lime green. Really pretty shades. Overall, the quality was amazing. I have nothing bad to say about this palette. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten around to playing with this one either. Um, yet again, I hate the names. The shade names are just dreadful. Um, I wish the names were written in a different color because with such a busy background, the names kind of get lost trying to read them. But overall, this is a pretty palette. It is cool tone. Um, I do need more cool tones in my collection. Um, I also, like I said, I haven't gotten a chance to play around with this and I am looking forward to playing with this. So I'm going to keep this. Next is the Cara Beauty Gentle Teaser Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. A very pretty neutral themed palette. You have your pinks, your oranges, your light shades, your deepening shades and stuff like that. Really pretty palette. Um, realistically, I have all these shades in my collection. Um, it is very pretty. Cara Beauty quality tends to be amazing. So although I have not touched this palette, I do not doubt that the quality is amazing. Um, hmm, these oranges are really pretty. They're right up my alley really pretty palette but a little too neutral for me and i also have other palettes that i know for a fact that i will reach for and use being that they are neutral palettes um rather than even touch this or dig into this i'm just gonna get rid of this next is the cara beauty havana club eyeshadow palette yes let me yeah this is the havana club eyeshadow palette this is what it looks like on the inside sorry for blinding you with the insert in the mirror and the mirrored packaging, geez, I'm just blinding you guys all around, I'm so sorry. This is what the inside looks like. Very colorful rainbow palette, it has a few pastels in here, a lot of nice green shades between the second and third row. Ooh, that shade is really pretty. I don't know if my camera's picking that up, the same as that one. Has your purples. I'm a sucker for purple eyeshadow. This palette is really, really pretty, I love 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 colorful eyeshadow palettes i have not touched this one but uh i kind of have an addiction to rainbow theme palettes or colorful palettes so although i know i have a billion other rainbow palettes i'm going to keep this and give it a go because yeah this is she's really really pretty so I'm, I'm gonna hold on to this next is the cara beauty you had me at aloha eyeshadow palette this is what she looks like another colorful palette this one has more blues and pink tones really really pretty oh this moana shade is gorgeous this periwinkle jean short shade cotton candy wow these are beautiful mahalo bucket list yeah 
I'm not gonna get rid of this. Oh my gosh, even Big Island, that nice deep burgundy shade. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. I have not touched it. Wow, I just, my eyes are just going all over the place, but in a good way. Wow, this palette is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to this and do a couple of looks with this because this, this is really pretty. Next is the Cara Beauty, the Essentials eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of it looks like. Very, very gorgeous, neutral toned palette. These browns are absolutely beautiful. This deep chocolate brown. Oh, she is gorgeous. I even like these little soft coral shades. Um, oh, she's, yeah, she's really, really pretty. Um, I have not touched this one either. I just recently got these um, Cara Beauty palettes, so I haven't touched any of them. But um, like I said with the previous one, Cara Beauty quality tends to be really good, so I don't doubt that these are going to be any different. But geez, oh my gosh, she's really pretty. Um, oh my gosh. Oh gosh, yeah, this is tough. Uh, okay. I want to keep her really bad, which is weird, because I didn't think I'd ever look at a neutral palette and just be like, I need you. But between my Jaclyn Hill original palette, my, um... What is it? My um, Juvia's Place Nubian palette, my neutral hot pots from Coastal Scents. I do not need this palette, but geez. Yeah, this, she is beautiful. But um, unfortunately, I'm going to get rid of her. Next is my Bombshell Cosmetica Caramelize eyeshadow palette. Um, everybody knows that Bombshell Cosmetica was a brand that had really nice theme palettes, food based palettes before Glam Light came on the scene. But um, yeah, this is what the palette looks like on the inside. Very pretty, very neutral. Um, yeah, very neutral except for Sherbert, which is your deep navy blue matte. But overall, there's four, eight mattes. No, four, nine mattes, excuse me, and then these three shimmer shades. Realistically, I have these shades in my collection, even this muted red, which is pretty. Um, yeah, I, I have these shades in my collection, so there's no need for me to keep it. Even though the brand is no longer around, I do love the quality of their shadows. I'm still going to, yeah, I'm still going to get rid of this. Oh, I did also want to mention that this palette does smell like caramel, so that's definitely a plus. But yeah, even still, I'm, I'm going to get rid of it. Next is the Sample Beauty Cult Palette. This is what she looks like on the inside. Really neutral tone palette with your pops of colors. Funny enough, I wanted this palette for so long that, um, but UK shipping and pricing, just every place that sold this palette was just ridiculous. So of course I waited until it went on sale. Um, I finally got this palette and sadly enough, I lost interest in it. Don't get me wrong. She is much more beautiful in person than she is in pictures because for some reason, every picture could not like totally convey how beautiful this palette is this hot pink shade this beautiful royal blue this turquoise or this teal green whatever you want to call it really really beautiful palette but unfortunately i guess i waited too long to finally get it that the hype kind of got lost on me so therefore i'm going to get rid of this palette which is so sad because i wanted this palette for so long Next is the Sample Beauty, the Tectonic palette. This palette is no longer available. Um, this is what the inside looks like. Another neutral themed palette with your pops of colors. I like that nice lime green shade, that green shade, that periwinkle sky blue shade, this red, this orange. Um, I have, mm, I got this palette mainly because this section over here um, having it in front of me, I don't, hmm, let's see. Let's do some swatches. That's the lime. It's the regular green. Okay, it swatches nicely. What about this one? They're nice, but I know I have better shades than that in my collection, and those were really the only shades that caught my attention. Um... With that being said, I'm just going to get rid of this. Next is the Sample Beauty, the Painter's Palette by Beth Painter. This is what the inside of it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have not 
swatched or used this palette but these shades are beautiful this is yeah this is me in a palette um let me do some quick swatches hold on let's see the shades that automatically jumped out at me were scamp oh she feels buttery that is beautiful um another shade Bino. she's pretty uh tinkerbell beautiful green Ooh, yeah i'm i have to keep her and one more let's see do jojo they feel so nice yeah that one didn't swatch great but okay i can build it up yeah these these colors are really pretty this palette is totally me um like I said, another colorful themed palette that I know I don't need, but I'm going to keep. But yeah, she's really pretty. Can't wait to jump into this. Next is a Give Me Glow palette that I made. Oh, you got to be fucking shitting me. Wow. Okay, so yeah, excuse my language, but that just totally caught me off guard. Okay, I am like really devastated right now. Yeah, this is a palette that I created, and as you can see, the red is just completely shattered. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. Um, wow, I'm just really upset right now. Okay, so this is a palette I created. Um, different shades, you pick it and um, you pick the singles and you put them into the empty palettes themselves. This is the palette that I created. Um, the quality is fucking good. Like, I'm sorry for cursing. I'm just really mad. Holy crap. This is what this shade looks like. I'm obviously going to have to order another one. This is a true red, which is absolutely beautiful. And it's sad that this is what my life has come to right now. But um, yeah, give me glow. Quality is really, really good. Look at that. This was this shade oh my god i'm just like beyond upset but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it moving guys look at that just absolutely beautiful um you know it's not even worth trying to repress that shade even though i know i probably could i'm just gonna toss it in the garbage and um yeah order a new one but um this is how some of the shades look by the way, I'm sorry, I just realized I didn't tell you the names of them. So this red shade is low battery. That terracotta shade was TBT, or a throwback Thursday. And the gold shade was Icy Frap. So yeah, I will not be getting rid of this. As you can see, the quality is just there. Sorry, I had to get everything all cleaned up. It's just, I can't believe that happened. I'm like so heartbroken because I literally just got that. But um, anyway, we move on. I do apologize for cursing. I do have the mouth of a sailor, believe it or not. So I apologize for that. So the next palette is going to be the Brave Spirit palette. And this is by Revolution. This is what the inside looks like. Honestly, you would think that this palette would be up my alley, but it's honestly not. It's doing nothing for me. Um, It looks like it has one two metallics and three satins and three mattes the color story is all over the place i don't care for this palette i honestly didn't even buy this palette it was just a free gift in an ulta order so yeah i i honestly don't even see me reaching for this so i'm gonna get rid of it next is the morphe and lisa frank 35b eyeshadow palette this is what the inside of it looks like so yeah, this is the 35B that Morphe discontinued and bought back to collab with Lisa Frank with. Um, this is the other, I'm assuming the original 35B. I didn't have that palette always escaped me once it was in stock. And then finally they just discontinued it. So I never got around to getting it. I've always wanted the 35B because it's a colorful palette. And then when I saw it was Lisa Frank, just my childhood memories all over again. So I bought the palette. It's here. She's very pretty, but honestly, 
I kind of lost interest in it. Um, I do have all these shades already that I've already dug into and that I love and gravitate towards. Literally, I have all these shades in my collection. This is untouched. There's no need for me to keep this at all. It really was just for nostalgia and because Lisa Frank was that bitch when I was a kid. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't even care for it. I guess too much time has gone by not having the 35B that I kind of found alternatives. So with that being said, I'm gonna get rid of this palette. Next is the Crayon K's box of Crayon's eyeshadow palette and this palette broke the internet. This is how she looks on the inside. I really, really, really love this palette. Um, the colors that I love the most are the whites, baby blue, I'm sorry, is white, baby blue, deep plum. Those shades just work amazingly. Every shade in here works really great, but just off the top of my head, those are my absolute favorite in this palette. The palette is really, really great quality. Um, this palette is pretty much iconic because of all the buzz behind it. Such an amazing palette. One of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, colorful eyeshadow palettes that I do have in my collection. Um, if you don't have this, and if it is still available, I think it is, you should definitely go out and get it because it's well worth the money. I absolutely love this palette, so I'm definitely gonna keep her. Next is the Profusion Web of Eyes eyeshadow palette. This was a Halloween release from last year. This is, you already saw what it looked like, but this is just a closer look. Let me take the plastic off of it so that you're not blinded by the glare. Okay, so I like this palette. It performed really well for drugstore. Few pros and cons. Um, pros, love the price, love the color story, love the variation in colors. Um, and it performed well, especially for drugstore and profusion. Sometimes they can be hit or miss. This was a this was more leaning towards miss, even though it wasn't even a miss, if that makes any sense. Um, I'll tell you one thing, it's not the festival palette. I'll I'll tell you that hands down. Um, I love the color story, the colors, they were really decent. Cons. I, although I love the overall design of the palette, I hate the lack of consistency in the eyeshadow pans themselves. I hate that they're different sizes. I also dislike, I don't care for pressed glitter as it is, but I also dislike the fact that the pressed glitters are in the smallest of the pans. Um, the palette is cute. I believe it was only available at Walmart and then they put it on the website. And I believe it's still there along with the rest of the Halloween collection. But um, yeah, I'm going to give this palette a few more goes before I ultimately get rid of it. It's just right now I'm not ready to let her go. So I'm going to hold on to her for a little bit longer. Next are my Melchior Single Eyeshadows. Melchior, if you're unaware of them, is a UK-based brand. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry for blinding you. They're a UK-based brand. Um... A lot of the artists in the UK use these shadows and they're a really, really amazing quality. I wish that they had more buzz, I guess you would say. I wish people talked about them more than what they do. Um, the quality of these shadows are really good. I bought these singles myself and just made this palette myself. So you can't buy the palette custom made like that. I just want to put that out there. But um, let me swatch some of my favorite shades from them. This is one of them. That shade is, I believe, Plum. No, Prune, excuse me. That's Prune. Then I'll do this shade next to it. That shade is Olympian Blue. This shade. I believe that's Alien. Yeah, that's Alien, one of my favorite shades overall in this whole palette. And hmm, let's see, for shits and giggles, I'll do the red as well. And that one is more of an orange red, but I love it. The pigmentation is great. Really big pan sizes. Quality, like I said, is amazing. Um, I do wish people talked about this brand more often, but um, yeah, um, I love these eyeshadows. And I don't ever see me getting rid of them ever. So yeah, with that being said, I'm keeping this. Next is my Sephora Pro Editorial Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside of it looks like. 
very beautiful color story. This is definitely me. Um, I have nothing bad to say about this palette except for the fact that I wish that I used it more. Absolutely love this middle row, love this shade, love that shade. Really, all of these shades are really beautiful. And the funny thing is, as much as I've used it, you can't even really tell that I've used it. I don't know if it's because the pans are actually deeper than what they think they are. We are, I'm sorry, they are, excuse me. Or is it because they're just so pigmented that a little really just goes a long way? I can't even tell you how many times I've used this palette and it still looks virtually untouched. This is one of my favorite palettes that I own. Um, I wasn't interested in the other Sephora Pro palettes, believe it or not. Even the editorial too, I didn't care for. It's just something about it. I didn't, it didn't do anything for me. But out of all of the ones that were released, this one called my name. I just thought it was beautiful. Love the quality. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this one. Next is my City Color Manhattan Chic Eye Palette. Um, I honestly don't even remember buying this palette. I don't know what would possess me to buy this palette. It has a pressed glitter, it has a primer. These shades don't really go deep enough for me. Not even that, I have these shades in my collection. I, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking because I really am so uninspired just looking at this palette. With that being said, I will not keep it. I didn't, I didn't even take it out the packaging. Wow, that just goes to show you that I really had no interest in this. So yeah, this is gonna go. Next is the Maybelline The City Mini Palette times Shayla Palette. When I first saw this palette, I thought she was absolutely beautiful, still do. Um, unfortunately, yep, like I thought, never took it out the packaging. Um, don't know the quality of this, never tried it. The colors I still think are beautiful, especially that gold. It's just, is doing something to me. I know I have these shades, especially um, this deep, like chocolate brown, but it's like more on the maroon side, if that makes any sense. I have a black matte. I have, yeah, I literally have all these shades, so there's no need for me to open this, swatch this, or keep it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Next is a Coastal Scents eyeshadow palette that I created. Um, again, bought when it was on sale. I think I created the whole palette for less than $40, maybe even $30. Um, these are all my tones. All these pinky shades are absolutely beautiful. Um, I love the quality of them, but I really don't reach for this palette much. Hmm. This one I'm on the fence about. Let me do a couple of swatches real quick. Do a swatchy swatch. So that's the purple. Yeah, she's pretty. Let's see. That's pretty. Let's see this one. She's nice. What shade was that? That was Lakeshore, the purple. Let's see what this one is. Ugh, try not to dig my nails into it. This is Edgy Eggplant. Let's see about this lilac shade she's pretty a little on the sheer side um that shade was ice ballet and let's do this one why not okay these are really pretty um that shade let's see what that one was that was silver lilac okay so the shades are really pretty um it's just that it's not like I don't have these shades in my collection. Um, if I were compelled to keep this palette, it would only be for, believe it or not, the purple. Um, the other shades, especially Lake Shores, um, Ice Ballet, and Silver Lilac, or whatever that shade was called, those shades are in the BH Cosmetics Club Tropicanic palette. Trub Club, excuse me, I just can't speak to me, I'm so sorry in the Club Tropicana palette, which you already know I will never get rid of. So for right now, I'm gonna put this to the side. This shade is pretty though. I should have, let me just swatch that shade real quick too. I already know it's gonna be like a light wash of color, real pastel-y. See, that's pretty, and that's a light wash like I thought it was going to be. 
this one I think is yeah antique lilac um what I'm gonna do is I know I have a purple like this in my collection and I'm pretty sure that I have a mauvey lilac like this in my collection as well if or when I find them I will be getting rid of this palette so I'm gonna come back to this as of right now this is a maybe so this is another Coastal Scents eyeshadow palette that I created. Same thing, um, when it was on sale, got the palette, created everything for less than $40, maybe even less than 30, can't remember. Um, these are the shades in the palette. I know I have these shades in my collection. This I believe is Marmalade. And if it is, this is one of my favorite colors from Coastal Scents ever. Yeah, this is Marmalade, absolutely love that shade. Um, this blue shade is pretty. This is Empress Teal. Let's see how this goes. Oh, she's cute. Let's see, this blue shade. She's pretty too. Let's see about this one. It's really difficult for me to get swatches while trying to hold the palette because they're magnetic, so the pans like move around. Okay, that one's pretty too. So yeah, that blue shade, I'm sorry, that shimmer blue shade that I swatched was Brandis Blue, or Brandis Blue, excuse me. And then this shade was Cinnabar Rose. But um, yeah, I love the colors in this one. Even this one, she's pretty. Like I said, it's really hard to do swatches. I don't know if you've ever made a Coastal Scents palette before, but it's really difficult to swatch in one hand and hold it with the other because the pans kind of swirl around. Ooh, that one is pretty. That shade was, let's see, dark goldenrod. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this palette. Like the colors in it. So yeah, I'm gonna keep her. Next is the Colored Rain Beauty Rust eyeshadow palette. Here's what the inside of it looks like. Very neutral palette. Love the shade Dusk, Recharge, Nighty Night. This whole palette I just absolutely think is gorgeous. I love the way it performs. Daisy is such a muted mustard color. Absolutely love the shade too. This whole palette, I have nothing but amazing things to say about it. It's actually one of my favorite neutral palettes in my collection, which is another reason why I got rid of that beautiful Cara Beauty collection um, palette at the beginning of this video. So with that being said, I'm gonna keep it. I love the way it performs. It blends like a dream. Absolutely beautiful. Next is the Colored Rain Berry Cute Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside of it looks like. It's a cute palette. Um, honestly, aside from this Kiss Berry shade, none of the shades really do anything for me. They don't pull at my heartstrings. Even Pinkleberry, it's a really pretty color, but honestly, I think I've only swatched this palette. I don't even recall using it. Um, yeah, I unfortunately I'm gonna let her go. Cause yeah, I'm just I just don't we don't we don't see eye to eye, so I'm just gonna get rid of her. This is the Colored Rain Smoke Show eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of it looks like. I absolutely love this palette so much. This bottom row, I know it's so basic, but it performs like a dream. Beautiful pigmentation, amazing quality. Um, smoke screen is even a really pretty color. Um, cloudy and naked eye, I have those in a bunch of other neutral palettes. But this bottom row is where it's at. This is what I use the most in this palette. Um, I do believe now that I have shades in my collection that are identical to these. I can even do without smoke screen, even though she is a really pretty color. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. If I can come across um, shades like these in my collection, I will get rid of this. But as of right now, I'm just going to hold on to it until I come across those shades. Next is the Colored Rain Lovelies eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. Another palette that I absolutely adore. This deep navy blue matte is so beautiful, pure misty nights love love this whole palette i absolutely love so much this blue shade is one of the best that i have in my collection hands down it's such a 
I'm gonna just swatch it for you real quick. It's such a pigmented blue. Look at that. Look how absolutely gorgeous that is. I'm sorry, the lighting was a little dark, but look how gorgeous that is. She blends like a dream. The quality is amazing. This is pure. Look at that. I'll do love, love as well, mine as well, red, white, and blue. Look at that. Beautiful shades, quality is astounding. I will always have this palette in my collection. She's not going anywhere. Next, I have some Revolution Reloaded palettes. Um, this is the Reloaded Marvelous Mattes eyeshadow palette. Very pretty color story. Um, I have not tried this palette yet. It's a recent palette that I got. I, I apologize if you hear the noise in the background. The dishes are being washed right now. But um, this is a palette that I recently got. I can't wait to dive into it because I just, it just reminds me of color blocking, believe it or not. Or like, um, you know how when you're filming and you have those colorful things that you clip down? This is what this reminds me of. But anyway, this is totally up my alley. Can't wait to play with this. I'm going to keep her. Next is the Revolution Reloaded Euphoria palette. This one I have not gotten a chance to play with. I just received this in the mail maybe two, three days ago. Um, yeah, another palette that is totally me. I can't wait to dive into it. I have not done swatches of it yet, so I'm going to keep her. This is the Revolution Passion for Color eyeshadow palette. In the pictures, I thought I wanted this palette and then unfortunately got here and I lost all interest in it. Um, I've had this for a couple of months now, haven't even opened it, which is sad because I wanted this palette for a while. Unfortunately, I'm going to let her go because in the meantime, I have received other palettes that have this color story so therefore I don't need to hold on to her which is sad because I was really looking forward to using this palette next is the revolution maxi reloaded eyeshadow palette and this is the big big love palette this palette is really really pretty in the pictures it seems so much darker than what it is so I'm kind of disappointed that once it came to me it was like modern renaissance threw up and I don't mean that in a bad way, but I'm just saying this is modern renaissance. Like, I do not need all of these similar tones. If you're one of those people that love all these similar tones, that's beautiful for you. Me personally, it's not going to work. Unfortunately, like I said, I was looking forward to it and it seemed much deeper in every picture that I've seen. But uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to reach for her. I have modern renaissance. I have... I have a bunch of other palettes with this color story, so I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the Revolution Maxi Reloaded Monster Matte Eyeshadow Palette, and this one, yes, this is like the mama bear of the, the mattes one, the Marvelous Mattes Reloaded Palette. This is me, all mattes, all colorful. You have your pastels, you have your deep shades, you have your pops of color, this is me totally love this palette funny enough this did not look like the picture either i took a chance on this palette because uh, in every picture that i've seen these colors look really muted it gets here and they're a lot more vibrant in person so i'm absolutely thrilled with this palette i cannot wait to play with her this was another recent purchase so she isn't going anywhere some profusion palettes this is the neon palette i love this palette really I like so much it's really good quality um some of these shades i feel were more pastel than neon but overall it's a great quality palette i think this was probably only five dollars if that love profusion really great drugstore brand love the quality of this um only thing i wish there were was a purple neon shade or a purple pastel as you may because i really didn't care to have a lime colored color and then a lime matte as well like a lime colored shimmer excuse me and then a lime matte as well so but overall I love this palette and I'm gonna keep it next is the sapphires palette by profusion this is one of my favorite palettes by profusion that they have ever made um this comes second to festival in my opinion. Um, this camel shade, absolutely beautiful. Nautica is gorgeous. Bermuda is so pretty. Frostbite, so many amazing shades in this palette. Really, really do love it. Um, I know I have so many blues in my, 
collection but this is one of those palettes I can't see me letting go of um yeah I'm I'm gonna keep this one too the citrine profusion eyeshadow palette wanted this palette for so long it kept going out of stock then finally was notified that it was back in stock ordered it it gets here didn't even open it have no interest in it I love it's so sad how that can happen um I wind up getting the what is it I wind up getting the maxi palette I wind up getting a few Cara Beauty palettes. I wind up getting so many other palettes that have these shades in it that it seems unnecessary to even keep this at this point. So unfortunately, as much as I wanted it, I'm going to get rid of it, which is sad. Next is the Fuchsia Profusion palette. This palette looked so much deeper in pictures. Um, this one looked really like a deep eggplant shade. This one looked like a hot pink shade. I don't know the the pictures have always they're they're hit or miss when it comes to eyeshadow palettes um i wanted this one as well for a while finally got it and it's not what i was looking for um i do have the shades that i was looking for in one of the cara beauty palettes well numerous cara beauty palettes i'll put it like that um unfortunately she is unopened i'm not gonna open it i'm just gonna get rid of her next is the emeralds palette i have not used this um Funny enough, I thought about keeping this, but then, let me see, hold on one second. So, I am also showing you, at the same time, the e.l.f. Bit to Be eyeshadow palette. This one is in the shade, hmm, it doesn't... Okay, this is meant to be. Yeah, this is meant to be. And this is the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette in chocolate mint. Okay, so this is where this happened. I was on back order for all three of these palettes. Finally received them, one of them for so long. This one is sold out immediately everywhere. So I was pretty much... On the email list to be notified when it was back in stock finally got back in stock got it now now that I have them in my collection I noticed that the ColourPop the child Mandalorian palette has these similar shades in it oh let me adjust the lighting so you can see what I'm talking about for this elf meant to be um, chocolate mint palette similar shades it has the brown right there it has the camel right there and then it has this shade which is like in between these two shades right here are not close they're, they're similar but they're not exactly like them then you have mint melt which is like this shade here then you have this deep great green shade which is like float your crib then you have these two shades that are similar to those. They're not exactly like it, but it's close enough. It's in the same family. Now, this, they, they're they synonymous. They can all go together. With that being said, I see me reaching for the child palette more than the other three palettes. So with that being said, I'm going to keep the ColourPop The Child palette. I'm going to get rid of the Profusion Emerald palette. Emeralds palette, excuse me. I'm using everything. I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm also going to get rid of these, which is crazy because I wind up getting all those similar shades that I wanted within that one ColourPop palette. So these I'll be getting rid of as well. Next is the Rubies by Profusion Eyeshadow palette another situation where the color seems so much deeper in the pictures now that it's in front of me it's like mm, I have these shades um the quality per for perfusion tends to be hit or miss like I said before but these 10 pan quads tends to always be a hit unfortunately like I said before I lost interest in it and it's sad because I wanted these for so freaking long it doesn't make sense for me to even justify keeping them because I know I have these shades. Just 
in the part of my collection in the first two parts that you've seen already y'all all know I have these shades there's no need in keeping them so I'm not going to next we have the mauves these are really pretty cool tone nice shimmer shades but I have them I wanted this one as well like I said it's just I guess the timing wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant for me to have this palette before the others so this is another one it breaks my heart that I'm gonna get rid of so this is the lick and lash beauty spice palette this is what the inside of it looks like this has your browns your reds your neutrals very warm tone a few cool tones but very warm tone I bought this palette to accompany other eyeshadow palettes or if there were palettes that I needed like a, a specific red or specific peach or plum or brown to help deepen the crease um I know I have these shades in my palette um I'm sorry I know I have these shades in my collection but I've always wanted to try Lick and Lash Beauty so for that reason I'm not going to get rid of it just yet I'm going to hold on to it Next is the Lick and Lash Beauty Flamingo Beach eyeshadow palette. And this is what the inside looks like. Very, very pretty. Has your pinks, has your blues. Very gorgeous. Um, I don't know why this palette reminds me a little bit of the Sephora Pro Editorial palette. Very, very beautiful. Wow, like I'm looking at it and every time I open up this palette, I just think she's gorgeous. Boardwalk cruise love nest kisses let me let me just do some quick swatches for you guys uh let's just do boardwalk do boardwalk right there and cruise oh she's pretty let's see if we could build her up a bit yeah she's pretty and love nest oh that's a pretty neon pink and for the hell of it, let's just do this gold. Give you a shimmer too. Oh, she's, oh my gosh, she's blinding. Shit. Whoa. Okay, yeah. This, yeah, I cannot wait to play around with her. She is really, really pretty. Very impressed with the swatches so far. So I'm going to hold on to her. Next is the Lick and Lash Beauty Playful Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside of her looks like very purple green and blue my faves my faves pinks just gorgeous i love the fact that there are more mattes than there are shimmers just recently got this palette have not played in it i cannot wait to play in it this is so gorgeous it's funny because um there was a cara beauty palette that i wanted that pretty much had this color scheme and i was trying to justify buying that palette and now that I have this in front of me, I don't even need this palette because this just is just giving me everything that I want. So with that being said, I'm still gonna hold on to this. Of course I am, I just got it. I do wanna apologize if you can hear my brother in the background. He's just really congested right now this time of year. So if you hear him, please just try to ignore it and I'm sorry again. Um, this is the ColourPop She's in Rainbows or She's a Rainbow palette, I can't remember. This palette has been sold out for months. I've been seeing it by other sellers, sellers, excuse me, on eBay, Macari, Poshmark. Every time I was ready to just give in and buy it, it sold out. So funny enough, one day I was just like, you know what, I'm never gonna get this palette. I was up at three o'clock in the morning and I don't know if you know this, but in Macari, you can save your searches and be notified when something comes up. This palette was put on at like 3 a.m. By 305, it was in my cart and paid for. This is how badly I wanted this palette. This is so me. I love, love, love ColourPop single eyeshadows. I love the fact that you cre can create six very monochromatic looks. I have no doubt in my mind that the quality is gonna be there because ColourPop has some of the best single eyeshadows on the market, very inexpensive. If only they would just re restock their site, then they would be, you know, they would be the everything. It's just they're busy release, releasing new things every week, so they don't have time for that. But I digress. But um, anyways, yeah, I just got this. I've wanted this for so long. I can't ever see me getting rid of it. Even if I don't care for the quality, I'll just probably most likely keep it in my collection because of how long it took me to actually get this. So yeah, I'm keeping this. Next is the Clean Color Pro Bold eyeshadow palette. 
I know you can see what she looks like, but let me open it up so you can get a closer look. This is what it looks like. This palette has 15 very vibrant matte shades. I love that there are no shimmers because, like I said, my BH Club Tropicana palette, I'm going to get to that in a video. I know I keep talking about it and you're probably like, where the hell is she going to show it? Once I get to that palette, you're going to see why I mainly gravitate towards just matte palettes because every shimmer shade I need is in that palette as far as colors go. But um, yeah, this palette... Um, but yeah, this palette, very vibrant. Let me swatch some shades for you. This pink right there. This deep blue. It's almost like a purple. Yeah, I would, I would probably consider. Yeah, that's, that's more so on the purple side. Let me adjust the lighting so you can see it better. Build that up a little bit better for you. Uh, do this teal turquoise color. Yeah, pretty much like the same shades in the um, Lick and Lash Beauty palette. But um, yeah, this palette was very inexpensive. I think it's about $10. The pan sizes are massive, as you can see, just scale my fingers. Well, then again, I do kind of have baby hands, but whatever. But um, the pans are massive. This palette, I believe, was about $10. Yeah, um, I can't wait to play in this. Love the color story, very vibrant. Um, and based on those three swatches, looks like they'll do me some good. So yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this palette. Next is my BH Cosmetics Daisy Marquez eyeshadow palette. And this is what the inside looks like. As you can see, mine is falling apart. Uh, yeah, that just means she's well loved. <laughs> But um, this is the inside of the palette. Beautiful color story, amazing quality. One of BH Cosmetics' best palettes as well as one of their best collabs that they've ever done. Um, this shade in itself, Passion Fruit, such a gorgeous shade. One of my favorite in the palette. Um, this orange shade, what is it, Karma? Very, very beautiful. Um, I don't believe this palette is still available, but if you can somehow get your hands on it, definitely go for it. The packaging is cute. It's like a little mini vanity that you can sit up and whatever like that. But um, yeah, absolutely love this palette. Can't see me getting rid of this ever. So yeah, I'm gonna keep her. Next is my September Rose Cosmetic Slush Eyeshadow Palette. And she is an absolute beauty. I love this palette so much. The quality is just amazing, totally inexpensive. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quality. I love that you have your shades together row by row, like they're together rather than all over the place, even though that doesn't bother me, but it's just so much more aesthetically pleasing when it tends to be order in a palette. This palette is such amazing quality. I can't stress that enough. Um, one of my favorite shades is bubblegum. I'm gonna swatch that for you. That and Blue Lagoon. Just absolutely gorgeous shades. The mattes perform amazingly. Black Current, Blue Caraco, just perform so beautiful. Cherry Limeade, I, there are so many amazing shades in this palette that I honestly can't just pick one or two. Um, yeah, with that being said, I. Honestly, I will never ever get rid of this palette because not only is it beautiful, but the owner actually sent me this palette and I'm so grateful to her for that. And even if she didn't send it, I was going to get this palette and I'd still want to keep it forever. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to keep this. Next is the Certified Tropical Wonders eyeshadow palette. This is what she looks like. She is a rainbow themed palette. I have not touched it. This is a recent purchase of mine been wanting it for a while now just just from a first glance dusk equator starling fruit dove those are shades that are just jumping out at me and I hear so many great things about this brand I hear so many amazing things about the owner so yeah I can't wait to play with this palette I'm gonna keep her this is another certified palette this is the affinity palette this palette is so me look at all these pinks and these purples all of these shades I just want to dive into. This is a, I got this at the same time as the Tropical Wonders palette. I have not gotten a chance to play around with it, but I am looking forward to playing around with it. So yeah, I'm going to keep her. Next is my Morphe 39A Dare to Create eyeshadow palette. And this is what she looks like. 
very beautiful palette. It has your neutral tones, it has your browns, it has your plums, your blues, it has your greens. Yeah, as you can see, this is another reason why I got rid of that Cara Beauty. Well, both of those neutral Cara Beauty palettes because I have these shades. Like, I, I honestly, I have these shades. There was no logical reason to keep those two palettes that I have not even touched over a palette that I've used. I know the quality. I love it. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, Cara Beauty is really great quality, but I'm trying to downsize my collection. I'm trying to be realistic. I'm trying to be mindful of what I'm keeping. This in the middle row alone has every freaking transition shade you can think of. With that being said, I'm obviously going to keep this palette. And I don't is it I don't even know if this palette is still available, but it is one of Morphe's better quality palettes. Like the the pigmentation, the blendability. Yeah, everything was there for this palette. This is what really showed that Morphe was stepping their game up. So for that, I'm going to keep this. So this is the Profusion Hair Lies Jester eyeshadow palette. It's very neon rainbow themed. This is what it looks like on the inside. In recent purchase, um, Profusion was having a sale. This was down to, I think, like $2, so I picked it up. Um, yeah, Profusion, like I said, tends to be hit or miss, but for the most part, they tend to be a hit. Can't wait to play with this palette. I'm going to hold on to this. Next is the Profusion Here Lies Hellcat eyeshadow palette. These four shades were like jumping out at me through the screen. I cannot wait to use this palette because everybody knows when you do a sunset look these are the three shades that you gravitate towards like automatically this starts you on your gradient right there then it has these three shimmers that I don't really care for because I have these shimmers time and time again in my collection so I am gonna hold on to it um I know I have these three shades this one as well really pretty shade at that I know I have all these shades in my collection uh I do really want to give it a go though. Mm, I'm going to hold on to it for now. What I'm going to do is my maybe pile. I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to hold on to this for, for now. We're going to hold on to this for now. Next is my Fiona Styles Electra Artist Eyeshadow Quad. And this is what the inside looks like very beautiful shades I love this maroon shade I love this deep brown I love this plummy metallic I love this one um let me do some swatches for you guys so that's that one that's that one she's pretty too reminds me of that um that shade in the Lorac um, palette that I got rid of. I can't even remember the name. It's evading me right now, but that reminds me of that shade. And then this one. Very pretty color story, realistically. I know I have these shades. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of her. She's a very pretty palette, though. I'm going to get rid of her. Next is the Fiona Styles. Oceanus Artist Eyeshadow Quad. This is what she looks like. Very, very pretty. All shimmer shades, not a single matte to be found. Um, let's do some swatches of her real quick. Oh, had a piece of makeup remover wipe. Sorry about that. That's that shade. That's that shade. That's that shade. And that's that shade. All very, 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 very beautiful shades. But I know I have these in my collection. I'm not going to reach for this palette. I'm going to get rid of this one too. This is my Super Beauty The Hustle Quad eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. Very, very beautiful shades. I know I have these shades in my collection, but I love the quality of Super Beauty single eyeshadows. The pan sizes, as you can see, are massive. Just amazing quality, beautiful pigmentation. Love the payoff. This is one of my favorite shades by them ever. Look at how beautiful that is. 
gonna smooth that out for you. Look how beautiful that is. Like it's it's gorgeous as a brow bone highlight, a little bit of a face highlight. Just absolutely love the shade. The shade by the way is called Empire State. One of my favorite shades by Suva Beauty, hands down. I will be keeping this palette. And I honestly don't even think this palette is still available. I could be wrong, but um, yeah, either way, not letting go of this. I love the quality of these shimmers. Next is the Cara Beauty Girls Just Wanna Have Sun eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. Love the color story. The quality and pigmentation is just top tier. Completely affordable. Love this palette. I don't ever see me getting rid of this palette. Even for me to not like pressed glitters, I even like this shade. So that's saying something. Absolutely love this palette. Won't ever get rid of it. She's being kept. Next is the Cara Beauty Stunna Summer. I'm sorry, Summer Stunna Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside looks like. Another palette, absolutely beautiful from their summer collection. Love the greens, love this burgundy, love the pressed glitters. Like I said, for me to say that the pressed glitters are nice, that goes to show you that the quality is there. Amazing, 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 hands down. One of the best palettes released last year. This is the Cara Beauty Beach Days eyeshadow palette. This palette is everything. I love it so much. It's like the baby sister of the Had Me at Aloha and Club Havana palette that they just recently came out with. Absolutely love the color story, love the pigmentation, love the blendability. Just everything about this palette along with the other two from the summer collection are some of the best releases of last year. I won't ever get rid of this palette. She's staying with me for life. Next is the Pure X Raw Beauty Christy Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the neutral side looks like, just in case you haven't seen it. And this is what the colorful side looks like. Absolutely beautiful color story. Love the creativity behind the, the palette design. Like, come on, have you ever seen a palette like this? The quality, amazing. Lumos is one of the most amazing white matte eyeshadows that I have ever, ever, ever come across. Just this whole palette, everything about it is just absolutely amazing. I couldn't ever see me getting rid of this palette. I don't know if it's still available, but if you can, get your hands on it if you don't have it. Try, it, try eBay, try anywhere possible, but try to get this palette because it's amazing. Next is the ColourPop Raw Beauty Christy X ColourPop at Foresight eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of it looks like. I got this when it released, but I just have not had a chance to play around with it. From all of the reviews, the quality is great. I don't doubt it because ColourPop, like I said again, their press eyeshadows are just amazing. Love the color story, very pretty, very me. I love that it's neutral and it has the props of color. I cannot wait to play around with this. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of her. She's going to be in my collection for a while. In my previous videos, I talked about some eyeshadow palettes that I was on the fence with or that I wanted to keep. Um, I'm back to let you know that there's some I decided to declutter instead of keep, so I'm going to run through them really quickly. The Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette I wanted to keep, but then realized that I have similar tones in, what is it? I realized that I have similar tones in the Lorac Pro Mega 3 eyeshadow palette. This punk shade, this black shade, I don't need to keep the Gwen Stefani palette, so I'm actually going to get rid of it. In the J-Cat Santa Monica palette, I was talking about these grays and these neutral olive tone colors, the greens and stuff like that, and I wind up between the Lorac Mega 4 Pro and the Lorac Mega 3 Pro having these colors in those palettes. So for those reasons, I no longer need to keep the J Cat Santa Monica eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna declutter this now. Last but not least, the J Cat Melrose Avenue palette. I was talking about wanting to keep this palette for solely the right hand side, the purples, the pinks, the plums, the blues then realize that I have those shades or similar shades in my Morphe 35V that I decided to keep. So I have the blue shimmer right there. I have the purple shimmer right there. 
And then I have different variations of the pink in another palette. So with that being said, I'm going to finally declutter the Jade Cat Melrose Avenue eyeshadow palette. So this concludes part three of my eyeshadow palette and declutter. I talked about 60 different eyeshadow palettes. I decided to keep 39 palettes, which are the ones on this side. I decided to declutter 24 palettes, which are on this side, which now brings my declutter total to 87. My goal was to declutter 75 to 100 palettes. I've already reached my first goal of 75, and now I'm 13 away from reaching my second goal of 100. Um, I may extend this and create a third goal of 125. Although I wish I did declutter more in this video, I'm very proud of the progress that I made and the fact that I've already completed my first goal within the first, I'm sorry, within the third video and I'm not even halfway through my collection makes me really, really proud. Actually, no, we're officially halfway through my collection. Wow. Okay, so that's awesome. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you again for spending time with me and following along and leave a comment down below. I've been loving them so far. Let me know what palette you would have kept. Let me know what palette you would have gotten rid of. And yeah, I hope to see you all soon. Bye.